What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we are back with some brand new WWE action figure news for you guys off the heels of a very important live stream that went down on Instagram. If you guys aren't in tune with the social media sites and platforms and stuff like that, that's okay because I'm here to cover it for you and give you all the knowledge that, you know, that we receive over the websites or any insider news or anything that we get along the lines of that. You're in the right place, man. So if you don't want to follow along on all the different platforms, I totally understand. But here we are back again, man. If you guys tuned into our news just the other day, I think it was yesterday or the day before, we had some Ultimate Edition figure news about a figure you're getting canceled in the Ultimate Edition line, and we also had Elite Series 101 revealed to us, so if you guys want to get in on that action, you can go check out the last video, but today, we have brand new news about two new Ultimate Edition figures, as well as a little Easter egg plant about a certain Ultimate Edition coming very soon in the next lineup, which also ties into the video from the other day about the canceled Ultimate Edition figure. But anyways, man, if you guys were unaware, yesterday it went up for pre-order the first ever Coliseum Collection 2-pack Ultimate Edition WWE figures of Hulk Hogan and Terry Funk went up for sale on MattelCreations.com. I got me two copies. Didn't expect the $70 price point, gonna be honest with you. Didn't expect that right there, but I guess it does make sense. You know, you get the special edition packaging you get two Ultimate Editions, all the different stuffs like that. You know, if you look at an Ultimate Edition at retail, what is it? Usually 30 to 35 bucks. You put them together with the extra packaging deal, and I guess it does add up to 70. Just wasn't expecting 70 for whatever reason, but I guess it does make sense. I don't know. You guys can chime in down in the comment section below. But that figure set did go up for, for pre order yesterday. I did not receive an early sample or anything of this figure, so I did not get to review the this set right here. Maybe we'll get one in the next go around. Round, but I did order my two copies of this figure set. Supposedly, this set is going to be in our hands by the end of 2022 or just like January 2023. If I'm not mistaken, yesterday Steve from Mattel took to Instagram on a Instagram Live video where he actually revealed to us two new WWE Ultimate Editions and it was the second installment of the Coliseum Collection 2-packs here. If you guys are into the older generation of figures, if you guys are into the classics, I think you're going to be really excited for this. And I'll give my thoughts and opinions on it, of course. But diving into it, man, let's go ahead and reveal it. And then we actually have some other news about it. So the next Coliseum Collection 2-pack is actually going to be Rick Rude and Jake the Snake Roberts, man. This is our 2-pack right here. Now, I did. We didn't have any official images, right? Steve said that he didn't have any official images for us just yet. But we did get some good insights into the packaging. We got to see what the figures look like. Very similar to the Hulk Hogan and Terry Funk 2-packs. Very, very cool stuff on there. You even have the, you know, the quotes or the lines on the top of the box. Simply ravishing. Keep the noise down. You got Jake the Snake. You got Rick Rude there. If you guys will notice, one thing that's really awesome is they're trying to pay homage to the LJN line. And you guys can notice that Jake the Snake and Rick Rude are both posed just like their LJN figures from back in the day. Same gear, same pose in the packaging. And, you know, obviously it's updated to 2022 form. But getting into the details of these figures, I like the back of the packaging, how you have all four of them showcased case there. I like the way that, you know, it's, it, I'll get into that in a second. I, I'm just going to analyze the figures real quick. I like the torso choices and the different choices we have here for Rick Rude and Jake the Snake. It looks like Rick Rude's head sculpt. I don't think that's reused. It could be reused. It actually may be reused, but I'm sh apparently they're going to come with interchangeable heads. They are going to have cloth goods. You know, I'm, I'm, I think it is really awesome that they tie it into the LJN and, you know, they're trying to replicate that. I think that's a really nice little Easter egg or touch right there, paying homage like that and it's a cool little tweak for collectors I think that's really awesome but I guess so far in these two ultimate edition packs I don't know they just kind of seem a bit I, I don't know it's not as over the top as you'd like but I guess they are trying to pay that homage they're trying to keep that historical twist on it and they're trying to keep it all you know square right there but I don't know it's just my opinion I just think it's it's a it's a little stale it's just a little stale like I understand it I get the I get the intrigue I get all the different things I think my boy Dougie on Facebook had a nice quotation on this let me go read his comment because I thought he summed it up pretty well. So he said, I gotta say, I hope they don't just plan on reusing a bunch of old figs we have and giving them new articulation to sell. These both look boring and underwhelming, but I'm sure with the extras it'll come with, they will be good. I don't know what else you could do with Jake other than a snake bag and different hands and heads, but it's all stuff we have in elite form. So I think that kind of sums it up pretty well right there. You know, not every release is going to be everybody's cup of tea. And I think that's just what I'm going for. I guess just, I think that the Zeus and Rip 2 pack had a little bit more flair going 
on with it. Not that you should compare it, but they are both, you know, two Ultimate Edition two packs. They're both two packs of Ultimate Edition WWE figures. So I get what he's saying right there, and I kind of, I kind of can feel him there. But I also love the little like Chef's Kiss little twist and Easter egg, like I've touched on multiple times in the video already. I do like that they are tying that in right there. I think that is really, really cool. But at the same time, you got to call a spade a spade. And they are, you know, they are a little bit underwhelming. They may be a tad stale, but we haven't seen all the details. We haven't seen the accessories. We haven't seen all the different things like that. And it's still going to be a must cop. I'm still going to get them. I'm still going to review them in detail. And I'm sure they'll be great figures. I enjoy Jake the Snake. I enjoy Rick Rude. I love the torso and the parts choices that we're getting right here. But I do have to agree with some of his points that he did make right there. However, I also want to get into something that Steve said on the live stream. And I don't have it screen recorded. I wish I had it screen recorded. I don't have exactly what he had, but I have I have sort of a paraphrased version of what he said here. And basically, everybody was like, uh, somebody in the comments, I don't even know who it was, but they were like, for the love of God, do not replace Jeff Jarrett. If you guys were unaware, Jeff Jarrett's ultimate has been replaced, and we have not yet seen who is going to be the replacement for Jeff Jarrett in the Ultimate Edition line. Somebody commented on the live stream and said, for the love of God, please don't let Rey Mysterio be the replacement. And I thought that was hilarious. He even commented on it. They were like, you know, we already have 89 Rey Mysterios. Please do not give Rey Mysterio the Ultimate Edition spot. And he actually came out and said, that Ultimate Edition Rey Mysterio will not be replacing Jeff Jarrett. So we can all rest our heads at night. We can lay down on the pillow, get a little bit of sleep there because Rey Mysterio will not be replacing Jeff Jarrett. Wouldn't shock me if he did just because we have 77 different Rey Mysterios just in the year of 2022, early 2023. So it wouldn't shock me if that was the case, but I am glad to know that it wasn't Rey Mysterio and I am excited to see who is going to be joining AJ Styles in that next Ultimate Edition wave. As you guys know, Roman Reigns Jeff Hardy was the most recent one and then we do have Brock Lesnar and Ultimate Warrior that's going to be hitting retail hopefully soon and then after that of course you had Ultimate Edition 14, 15 and now 16 will be AJ Styles and a newly announced first time in the line Ultimate Edition so in Ultimate Edition Series 16 it will be AJ Styles and another first time in the line so that is really awesome to hear and it will not be Rey Mysterio so that is a very nice juncture there but the last little bit of news that we have here is over his shoulder, over Steve's shoulder right there, you guys will actually notice that we have the third retro bundle pack over the shoulder right there with the orange box, and you guys will notice that it is Lex Luger, you have Tugboat, you have Doink, and you have Greg the Hammer Valentine, the packaging right there for the next retro bundle pack for the next release that will be on MattelCreations.com. So we have our WWE Retro Bundle Wave 3, Tugboat, Lex Luger, Greg the Hammer Valentine, and Doink, and apparently that is going to be coming on sale mattelcreations.com around January 2023 and that was just sort of a little you know a little tip to the cap right there for our next bundle so we did get some cool stuff on the live stream not a ton of stuff but it was you know you got you get some bits and info and you do get some info that I think is some things that that a lot of people are going to want to know about nonetheless man I think that pretty much wraps up our news here today I had to get on here and cover this because two new ultimate editions I know a lot of people are going to be excited about that expanding on the ultimate edition line and it is cool I I'm I'm the only thing that I have a question about is, is the next Ultimate Edition that's going to be paired with AJ Styles, will it be a current talent or will it be a throwback flashback talent? That's the only real question that I have here. I'm down for either one. Not going to, you know, make me lose any sleep at night, whether, you know, it is what it is, because I think it's cool that they are touching on new talent as well as old talent. And I think that's how you really expand and you capture the full fan base of your Ultimate Editions is by touching here and there of different eras of wrestling. That's the only way I think that it'll work. You know, you, you, we've gotten a touch from every era just about, and I think they're doing a great job. And I hope they continue to do so. But that is going to wrap up the news for today, man. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts on this. Do you like the new Ultimate Edition Coliseum 2-pack? Do you think it was a miss? Do you think they're kind of bland-esque? Or do you think they're just perfect? You guys can let me know. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I'm getting the hell out of here. Subscribe to the channel. Leave me your thoughts. And have a blessed one.